Belfast International Airport IATA, BFS, ICAO, EGAA, is an airport 11.5 nm 21.3 km 13.2 miles) northwest of Belfast in Northern Ireland. Formerly known as Aldergrove Airport, after the nearby village of Aldergrove, Belfast International is Northern Ireland's busiest airport and the second busiest airport on the island of Ireland after Dublin Airport. In 2017, over 5.8 million passengers travelled through the airport, marking a 13% increase compared with 2016. It features flights to some European metropolitan and several leisure destinations as well as seasonal long-haul routes to the United States. Belfast International has a CAA public-use aerodrome license that allows flights for the public transport of passengers or for flying instruction. The airfield was previously shared with the Royal Air Force Base RAF Aldergrove which closed in 2008. The base is now known as Joint Helicopter Command Flying Station, Aldergrove and both runways are now owned by the airport. The airport is owned and operated by Vinci Airports which was previously owned by ADC and has. History Topic: 1917 to 1945. The airport lies within the parish of Killeed, between the small villages of Killeed to the east and Aldergrove to the west. The site for the airport was established in 1917 when it was selected to be a Royal Flying Corps training establishment during the First World War. The airport remained open at the end of the war for RAF activity. Civil traffic began in 1922 when flights were conducted flying newspapers from Chester and a regular civil air service started in 1933. The flight was to Glasgow and was operated by Midland and Scottish Air Ferries. This was subsequently augmented by flights to the Isle of Man, Liverpool and Croydon, then London's airport. During the Second World War, Aldergrove remained an RAF station particularly for the Coastal Command. So that the airport could accommodate larger, long-range aircraft, a major works program was undertaken to replace the four existing runways with two new long-paved runways, thereby forming the basis of the layout that still exists at the airport today. Topic: 1946 to 1970. One of the outcomes of the wartime airfield construction program was the building of Nuts Corner Airport, just 3 miles kilometers from Aldergrove. On 1 December 1946, the new site replaced Belfast Harbour Airport now George Best Belfast City Airport as Northern Ireland's civil airport, as the site at Sydenham was considered unsuitable. By the 1950s civil air traffic had outstripped the facilities at Nuts Corner and, in addition, aircraft were being regularly diverted to Aldergrove because of adverse weather conditions. In July 1959 the decision was made to move civil flights to Aldergrove to take advantage of the large airfield and this took place in October 1963. A new terminal and apron were built with the necessary passenger facilities and the complex was opened by Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother on 28 October 1963. In 1966 the first regular jet service to London Gatwick started and in 1968 Aer Lingus and BOAC introduced scheduled services to New York City via Shannon and Glasgow Prestwick respectively. Topic. 1971 to 1999 In 1971 Northern Ireland Airports Limited was formed to operate and develop the airport and its facilities. A major program of airfield upgrades was undertaken resulting in improvements to runways, taxiways and the parking apron. A new international pier was built together with lounge facilities and car parks, while an additional apron was provided to separate the smaller general aviation aircraft from large commercial jets. In the meantime, British Airways launched the first Belfast to Heathrow shuttle service and the first Boeing 747 operated from the airport on a charter service to Toronto via Shannon. The first scheduled service to a European city was started by NLM Cityhopper flying to Amsterdam. 
In 1983 the airport, renamed Belfast International, was regularly accommodating the largest civil aircraft in service and with the installation of new technology was capable of all weather operations. In 1985 passenger numbers reached 1.5 million and BMI went into competition with British Airways on the Heathrow service. Further developments to the terminal occurred throughout the late 1980s and early 1990s. A new executive aviation terminal was opened in 1987 and the new cargo centre opened in 1991. The airport was privatised in 1994. TBI became the new owners of the airport on 13 August 1996, by which time annual passenger numbers had reached 2.5 million. In 1998 EasyJet started operations from the airport with flights to London Luton. Since then the airline has established a large base at Belfast International and a further 12 domestic routes and 20 direct European scheduled routes have been added to the network, making the airline the largest user of the airport. Topic development Since the 2000s Indiana 2005 Continental, Airlines launched the first ever non-stop scheduled service to Newark, which continued to operate under the United Airlines brand until its termination in January 2017. In July 2013, it was confirmed that Aberdeen's would sell Belfast International Airport, Stockholm Skasta Airport and Orlando Sanford International Airport to ADC and has based in the United States. In February 2015 the airport reopened the viewing gallery that had been closed for 10 years which provides a view of the apron and the runways that serve the airport. It also includes live ATC, arrival and departure boards, and a live flight radar screen. In 2016 Ryanair opened a base at the airport, initially operating flights to nine destinations. The airline said they would carry 1.1 million passengers a year out of the airport. In July 2017, Norwegian Air Shuttle launched two new long-haul routes from Belfast International Airport, with services to Newburgh, about 70 miles from New York, and Providence, 60 miles from Boston. In April 2018, Vinci Airports, a subsidiary of Vinci SA, acquired an airport portfolio held by airports worldwide, previously named ADC and has, with the transaction expected to close later this year, Vinci Airports will become the new owner of Belfast International Airport. Topic. Airlines and destinations Topic. Passenger The following airlines operate regular scheduled and charter flights to and from Belfast International. Topic. Cargo Belfast International Airport has a wide range of cargo operators at the airport, they are currently Topic. Traffic and statistics Topic. Traffic figures In 2017 Belfast International handled over 5.8 million passengers, which is the highest in the airport's history. The airport is the busiest in Northern Ireland and the second busiest airport on the island of Ireland, after Dublin Airport. Belfast International was the tenth busiest airport in the UK by passenger traffic in 2017. 